Hello everyone, today we're going to look at Form 3 Mathematics Chapter 9, Straight Lines. So the whole chapter is about straight lines, but before we look into straight lines, we need to start from the basics, which is something you'll learn in Form 1 and Form 2. Okay, we start with graph of linear function. So what does straight lines have to do with graph of linear function? Before that, we try to look at what is the meaning of a function. Previously, you already learned that a graph of linear function is in the form of straight lines like this. Now these are the examples. But what exactly is the meaning of uh, linear functions? So, so we try to start with the meaning of function first. So a function here generally uh, means that it's a relation between two variables. A function relates two variables. For example, I'm at a shop, I want to buy a book, and the book costs me 5 ringgit, Malaysia. So if I want to buy X numbers of books, I use an X to represent the number of books that I'm going to buy, then the total that I have to pay will be Y, R, M, Y. So X is a variable, Y is a variable because X can be any numbers, which represents the number of books that I'm going to buy. And Y is the total that I have to pay, which is dependent on the number of books that I buy. Hence, we can relate Y and X by writing this in a mathematical sentence, or we can write, we can say that we write this as Y equals to 5X. Because Y is the total that I have to pay, and for each book I'm buying, I need to pay 5 for each of them. That's why 5 times X is the total which I'm going to buy here, which is Y. Okay, so now I'm relating Y and X by using this, which we call this as an equation. So now, what happens is, a function which generally means the relation between variables, and here we have two variables, x and y, is related and is shown by using a mathematical equation. So a function can be represented in an equation form. Now, if I take this equation and I try to plot the graph of y equals to 5x, so first to plot this, I need to construct a table of values, for, values of x and y. Values of x, let's, uh, I can use any numbers I want, so I just use, uh, I can start off by using 0. So when x is 0, 5 times 0 is equal to 0, hence y equals to 0. Okay, from here I can use, uh, maybe, from here I use 1, 2, 3 for x values, and when x is 1, when x is 1, 5 times 1, I get 5. When x is 2, 5 times 2, I get 10, and so on, 3, 15. And from these values that I get, I plot on a Cartesian plan, which has an x in axis and y axis here. I first draw the scale, and from the scale, I try to plot these points 0, 0, 1, 5, 2, 10, 3, 15. I plot the points there, then I try to draw the line of best fit here. Okay, so after I draw the line, it is shown that this is a straight line, and this is the graph which represents the equation y equals to 5x. In other words, the equation here is can be represented by the form of the graph, which is a straight line. Now we try to conclude. A function which relates variables x and y can be shown or can be represented in the form of equation. And in our example is y equals to 5x. And this equation, if we plot it, we can represent the equation in the form of graph, which is shown here, a straight line. And hence, we can also use a graph to represent a certain function. So now you can see that function, equation, graph, all these are different forms of relation between the variables x and y. This is in the form of equation, this is in the form of graph. And now, there are different types of function. And previously, you learned the, the type linear function. Hence, a linear function, we can represent a linear function in a form of linear equation. And if we try to plot the linear equation, we will have a linear graph. So what is the meaning of linear here? It is easier to understand if I start with you, uh, if I start by using linear equations. So we go to into linear equations here and we try to identify what are linear equations. So here I have two columns. This column here, I will show you linear equations. And this column here are all nonlinear equations. Try to see what are the differences. You can see that for linear equations here, x and y, the highest power of x and y is power 1. Now even though it's not written here, it means power 1, x to the power of 1. 1 is not shown. y to the power of 1, 1 is not shown. 
But for this case here, which is a non-linear equation, the x has a power of 3, y has a power of 2. Hence, these are non-linear equations. And how about this? If you multiply x and y, it is considered as a non-linear. Okay, so you can see that there is no multiplication of x and y, it's just plus or minus between the x and y. For linear equation, if you try to plot this graph, all of the linear equations, when you try to plot, you have different forms of straight lines. Okay, we have this type, vertical lines, horizontal lines. And for nonlinear equations, when you plot them, you will see that they are not in the form of straight lines. Now we have parabolic shape, we have a curve. Okay, so linear equations form straight line graphs. Nonlinear equation forms graphs that are not straight lines. So from here, I think you already have a general idea of what is linear equations, what is the linear graphs. Okay, so a graph of a linear function is a straight line. Or in other words, graph of linear function can be represented by the graph of a straight line. This is the general idea, but we're going to study about this in more details. So now, I have to plot a graph of a linear function here. Okay, so this is a linear equation which represents a linear function. You can see that the x power 1, y power 1. If we try to plot this, first thing we construct a table with values x and y. For value x here, I, can, I just use any values. So let's say I start with 0. When x is 0, 2 times 0, I get 0. 0 plus 6, y equals to 6. So I get 6 here. So here I just use 1, 2 and 3. So when x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 6 is 8 and so on. Then I plot the graph. I plot 0, 6, 1, 8, 2, 10, 3, 12. And then I draw the graph. Of course, we already learned just now a linear function, linear equation will form a straight line. Now we try to study more about this straight line using what we have learned in form 2. The first thing we try to study about this line is the gradient. And the second thing is the y-intercept. So we come back to our graph here. How do you find a gra gradient of a graph? We need to use this formula where n, the gradient, equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. To find the, these values, we need the coordinates of two points on the straight line. So let's say we take this, this point. We have 3, 12. Okay, 3, 12. And uh, the second point, we take 1, 8. Okay, so we take these two points, we try to use these two points to find the gradient. So in order to find this, we need to first label them. Uh, let's say I, this, I take this point 2, point 1, x2, y2. This will become x1, y1. So now if this is x2, y2, the 12 will be substituted into this part. 12 minus y1 is 8. Then x2 is 3 minus 1. Okay, so 12 minus 8, 3 over 3 minus 1. I calculate this, I get 4 over 2, simplified. 4 over 2, I get 2. Hence, the gradient here is, for this straight line, the gradient is 2. Then, we try to find a y-intercept. If you don't remember what's the meaning of y-intercept, which is denoted by the symbol C here, y-intercept is the value of the y-coordinate when the graph has the y-axis, which is here at this point. Okay, The graph intersects or cuts the y-axis at this point meaning the two lines meet at this point. So the y value of this point is the y-intercept. So what is the y value of this point? Okay, this point here. So the y value here is 6. Hence, y-intercept, the c here, is 6. Okay, you have learned this in the form 2. So why we want to find these values? We try to look at the equation which forms these uh, straight lines again. This is the question. Plot a graph of linear function from a previous slide. y equals to 2x plus 6. Then after we plot the graph, we find the, the gradient is 2 and the y-intercept here is 6. Now you try to compare these values to this equation. You will find that the 2 here equals the 2 here and the 6 here and the 6. They are the same. In fact, if we try the same process on different types of linear functions, which all can be shown in this form, we will find that all coefficient of x here equals to the gradient of the graph and all these values here equals to the value of the y-intercept after we plot the graph for all of this. So we, from here we can make a generalization that graph of linear functions can be shown in this equation where y equals to 
mx plus c and m is the gradient y or the c value here is the y intercept hence the conclusion in this part is that the graph of a linear function is a straight line which can be represented by this equation this general equation y equals to mx plus c where m equals to gradient and c is the y intercept whenever you have graph which is in the form of straight line we can represent the straight line with this equation in other words when you are given any equation of straight line we can determine its gradient m and its y intercept let's look at an example okay example one determine the gradient and the y intercept of the following straight line so this equation here if we plot the graph we will form a straight line the straight line okay if we compare this to y equals to mx plus c the straight line that we draw will have a gradient of value 3 m equals to 3 and the y-intercept of 5 okay so the y-intercept which is this this is c here yeah? okay equals to the value of 5 for this, if we compare this is to y equals to mx plus c, the gradient here will be this, m equals to negative 2, while the c here will be 4. So even though we are not plotting the graph, from this equation itself, we can identify the value of the gradient and also the y-intercept. Just for your extra information, the graph will be a straight line like this because it is negative 2. Then the y-intercept here is 4, means if we draw the y in this y-axis, this value will be 4. And this is the x-axis. So even though we haven't plot the graph, from here we already can have an idea of what the graph look, looks like. Now the set, same question, determine the gradient and the y-intercept. Since we want to compare this to y equals to mx plus c, the coefficient of y must be a 1. Okay, so we, we don't want the 2 to be here, so we divide the whole equation by 2. Okay, means all this we divide by 2. So you get 2 and 2, you cancel off, you get y. 4 over 2, you get 2x plus 3 over 2. Now we can do comparison. m equals to... 2 and c equals to 3 over 2. For this part, since we want to compare with y equals to mx plus c, hence we want to arrange this equation so that it has this form. You see x is on the right hand side here, hence we want to move this to the right. So you get 3y equals to positive x plus 6. And again, because y has a coefficient of 1, and all of, hence all of this we need to divide by 3, so divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3, you get, okay I write it here, you get 3 over 3 is y, x over 3, we can separate x over 3 into 1 over 3 times x, okay, because x over 3 equals to 1 over 3 times x, and 6 over 3 is 2, hence the m equals to 1 over 3 and c equals to 2. Okay, now note that when we have a, a horizontal line or, the, or a straight line which is parallel to x-axis, for example this, okay, you can see that the red line or the graph here is parallel to the x-axis. What is the equation which forms this kind of graph? Or this straight line represents what, what types of equation? So to study this, first we look at some of the points on this line. So you can see that this is one point on the line. Okay, the, this is also one point, one point here. All these points are on the red line. If you find the coordinate of all these points, okay, for, for example, this one, what is the coordinate? This is one, four. For this, it is negative one, four. For this point, it is three, four. This is four, four. What can you say about all these points? What are the similarities? You can see that the y value for all these four points have the same value, which is 4. Which means that all points on this straight line here, all points on this has a y value of 4. Okay? Hence, for this straight line, 
it represents the equation y equals to 4. Or in other words, when you have an equation y equals to 4, when you try to plot the graph, it is a horizontal line where the y-intercept is 4. So you can see that the y-intercept here is also, has a, also a value of 4. Hence, you can say that y equals to c as well. y equals to the value of the y-intercept. So whenever you have a horizontal line, you just need any one point there to find the y, in, y value. Hence, the whole line can be represented by the equation y equals to that value of the y coordinate. How about vertical lines or straight line which is parallel to y axis? For example, this straight line here, vertical, uh, this uh, straight line which is parallel to y axis, okay? The first point here, we have 2, 10. The second point, we have 2, 4. The third point here, we have 2, 0. And you can see that along this line, all the points on this line, the x value is always 2. Hence, this straight line here can be represented by an equation x equals to 2 because along this line, all the x value is 2. So whenever you have a line which is parallel to y axis, it can be represented by this equation. Okay, Not that this is an equation. x equals to 2 is an equation which, which represents this vertical line. Now we try some examples. Determine the equation of the straight line. Okay, so we have a straight line here. Since the straight line passes through the x intercept here, which is 4, it means that along this line, all this point has an x value of 4. Hence, this straight line can be represented by equation x equals to 4. This, however, is a horizontal line or line parallel to x exists. Okay, so since all this point, all this point on this straight line has a y value of negative 6, hence this straight line can be represented by the equation y equals to negative 6. Again, now we try to find the value of h for the straight line given. So this straight line here is represented by this equation y equals to h. So what is the value of h? So you look at this line, the y value is say 7. The y value is 7. So along this line, all the y values is 7. Hence, y equals to 7. So, h equals to 7. Then along this line, you can see that the x value is all negative 2. Means on this line, all the points have x negative 2. Hence, x equals to negative 2 represents this straight line. H here. Hence, h equals to negative 2. So before we end our lesson for this part, we learned that graph of linear function can be represented by straight lines like this. We can use y equals to mx plus c to represent this kind of straight lines, where m is a gradient, c is the y-intercept. Whereas for lines which is, which is horizontal or parallel to the y-axis here, the equation for this straight line will be y equals to a value, for example, is 2, if here is 2. And for vertical lines or lines which is parallel to the y-axis, the equation for this straight line is x equals to a value where it depends on what value is this. If it is 5, then x equals to 5. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, everyone.